Hello, my angels. So I'm trying on my first Fenty product. I can't even. This is the first Fenty product ever. Um, it's called, it's from the Poutsicle line. And it's the color Alpha Doll. And if you guys know, I just bought a bunch of stuff from Dolls Kill, which is a clothing website. I was trying on, so I was watching stuff. Um, it's a clothing line that has like desert kind of gear. Think like Mad Max kind of clothing. It's super cool. It's called dollskill.com. Crazy name. How do you open this? Oh, it's sealed. It's, it's sealed on the top, but not on the bottom. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay. I can't believe I'm... I know it's taking me this long. I don't buy stuff. That's why. It looks like this. It has that vanilla scent that everything has nowadays. Oh. I like it. Now, that's what it looks like after it's been used. So you know. <laughs> mm. I like it. I just don't particularly like it as like a put it on and go kind of color. You know, I have a lot of put it on and go colors. This is a color that you use when you're doing a full face of makeup. Um, when you're evening out the skin tone, you might possibly doing a little bit of a contour. You have blush on, you have eyeliner, possibly. I don't think you always need fake eyelashes, but at least a lot of mascara. Um, it's pretty. Remember those Barbie shoes that I bought from Temu or Timu? I call it Temu, so I'll just love with it. Um, this is the same color, so I think if I ever did the Barbie look, I would use this color. This is not a color I'm going to reach for all the time, but it does what it needs to do. So let me just try really quickly to give you an idea of what it would look like if I actually did makeup. Where is That's my chair. I know, I need a new chair, but I'm trying to see if somebody will give me one. <laughs> Herman Miller, send it on over. <laughs> the day you don't hear like a noise in my chair. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to be like, just send that girl a chair. Some <laughs> somebody just send her a chair. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't need it. I'd rather spend my money on bags and stuff. This is Josie Marin. I don't know if it's a pimple or if I bruise my nose, but it hurts every time I touch it. Oh my God, it hurts so much. And I don't recall hitting my nose on anything. You know, normally I would do this with my hands, but I'm wearing gray today and I don't want to mess up my clothes. This is Tan by Mally in the... SPF 15 Face Defender Foundation. You could buy these right now because she changed her packaging. Whenever they change your packaging, it's a great time to purchase from a brand because um, everything's super cheap. So you can get like a case of these foundations for like the price of one. It's ridiculous. So you see how it already changed the look because now it's even. And if I were to like contour and highlight See how already it's changing the look? Totally different than how I started. So I feel like this for me, because of my freckles and my uneven skin tone, which I like, um, it looks better when you put on makeup. Now let's try on a mascara, because I have all these mascaras I need to try on. Uh, we're going to go with, 
Go Big or Go Home by Kat Von D. I have never tried a Kat Von D product in my life. So these are two firsts for me. Oh, I love mascara in tubes like this. You guys, not only do they last a hundred times longer than in like a circular tube, which I, I don't know why we're still doing that. I feel like it's a very outdated kind of way of doing it. This is in the color Trooper Black. I got this, I think, in a Mercari kit. Volumizing Mascara. It says Extreme Volume... This is the before and the after. Let's see if we can get results like that. I doubt it because my eyelashes aren't that long. Go Big or Go Home by Kat Von D. Let's do it. I love her. Do you guys know who she is? Okay. It's a woman. I know. I know. I know. It's what I have to deal with right now and with my back pain because you guys know I was in the car accident. This is the only chair that doesn't hurt my back. So I, I, I have to use it. Okay, it looks like this. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Oh, always. It's always this high, though. Well, no, no, it's not always this high. Usually it's this high. But I always get the wand in. It's like my eyes, like, oh, mascara, put it right in your eye. And I'm like, no. My hand's like, okay, boom. I'm like, pero por qué? We're supposed to be working together, not against each other. Wow, this looks nice from what I see. Okay, so this is just one coat. I'm putting the stick back in. That's a difference. How do you feel? No, stand back. This is how far it is, and this is the difference that it makes. Do one more coat, and then we'll put on. We'll do the other eye. Because sometimes when you build, it's even more amazing. I want to see if I can get it to look like that picture. <laughs> I mean, I must say this is a good, this is a nice mascara. You guys, I, I like this. My mom. I, I like it. You, you, I've tried on a lot of mascaras on this channel where I'm like, I don't like it. It's not my favorite. I have to put this in probably the number four or five spot. Let's, let's do the other eye. So number one is Eiko. E-Y-E-K-O because it's in a tube like this. And I feel like mascaras in a tube like this catch more product for some reason than when they're in a, a cylinder tube. It's just my personal opinion. It's alleged. It's just how I feel. And it's just been my experience that I end up liking a lot of the mascaras that are in these tubes because you can literally go like this and actually get the mascara on the tube. But for some reason, you just have to squeeze it. It's just always, it always looks good. It just does, in my opinion. Let's get the corners because the corners to me are everything. Guys, go back to the beginning of the video. Do you see what a difference? A little bit of makeup makes. And I only really wear makeup when I'm going out or if I'm going to see a guy that I like. I don't do it for me. And I know that's what you're supposed to do it for. But I actually like the way I look without makeup. So I don't need to do it for me. But I know that, you know, guys see with their eyes first. And it's, it's easier to engage them when, when they're looking at you like, she looks like. She's so pretty. I don't know what it is. She's just so pretty. <laughs> but um, very different look. So this is a color that I would only pull out when I'm putting on makeup. And imagine it with like a really nice cat eye or even like, you know, a done eye. Like if I, I never put on eyeshadow unless I'm like, I have to. It's just too much work for me to do every single day. I just don't. I think I, I just don't. 
But imagine like a full eye with this. Beautiful. So yes, I love this color. I don't think for me and my skin type, it's a put on and go color. This is I have to do a whole face to make this color work, but it works. And if you guys watch my video, there's other lipsticks that I put on that I'm like, it will look better with makeup. And there's other colors that I'm like, I love this. I could just leave it in my car or my bag because I don't need anything else with it other than the color because it complements my skin and brings out my features without having to do anything. And so I kind of like describe that. If you like my style, come back for a while. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. Hit that like button. It helps my channel grow. When we get to a million subscribers, I'm giving away a Chanel bag. When we get to two million subscribers, I'm giving away a Mercedes S550. So please like that channel. Um, like, like the video. I do have giveaways every 50 subscribers. So when you see a giveaway video, you can click on it and then see what I've given away and what I'm going to give away. And then I also have another giveaway video. I'm going to see if I could put it on this one if I remember. If I don't remember, just remind me in the, in the comment section and then I'll put the link in the description box or in the comment section so you guys can see the last giveaway video that breaks it down and lets you know what I'm giving away. But I think I might switch it up. I like it now. This is a really pretty color when you do a full face of makeup. Well, not full. This, this is a lot for me. You guys know that. I really don't wear makeup. I try to keep my skin as young as possible. If For you guys that don't know, I'm 44. I'm not trying to age myself at all. And putting on makeup and suffocating your skin and, and pushing and pulling because of all the brushes and the product, it's... In my opinion, allegedly, just my opinion, I think that's part of what ages you, as well as putting on all these skin products that are suffocating your skin. You know, so I do promote certain products, but they're products that work for me. They may not work for you, you know, and they're products that I personally use and like, if that makes sense. Um, but we're all different. We all have different skin types. Our skin works differently. It absorbs things differently. I do like this. And when I do, when I do a lip... I like to use the same lip color. Like you saw how I put it on my cheeks and my eyes. I do that. That's just some, like, it's something I've always done when I did, I used to do professional makeup. When I did other people's makeup, I always tried to keep these colors to match the lipstick. Like I always tried to just make it a, like a homogenous kind of look. That was just my aesthetic. And that's what people hired me for. Um, and then usually just like a, a Marilyn Monroe cat eye kind of, I, I didn't try to go all out with, unless I was doing like an Indian wedding or, you know, I was on set for like, a, a, like something big and then I would go ahead and do those crazy, wild, beautiful eyes and things. That, but generally on people that I'm doing makeup for, it's more of just like this, um, no makeup, makeup look or like just like a more toned down kind of, you know, so if you like my style come back and I will do other looks. I do do crazy looks, you know, <laughs> I just don't do them often, like hardly ever. So just know that you're not going to see it. So now you see, now that the foundation's settling in, you start to see the lines under my eyes. I didn't put primer on. So remember to always put your primer on when you're doing makeup around here. If you're putting makeup around here for me, at least you see the lines. Oh, and I smile. That's it. That's all I have here and here and then here. Thank God. Um, so I'm going to be trying the Chanel Sublimage eye cream going forward. And then I'm going to try the Chanel uh, Rose eye cream. And then um, I had another eye cream I wanted to try. So we'll see how those work to see if they plump up the area here. And if they kind of help bring back that youthful appearance. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Until next time, my loves. Bye.